Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a video. I haven't really done a video like this on my channel before. It's a beauty Q&A and unlike I think any other beauty q and I've seen here on YouTube, this is not the, the questions here aren't coming from questions that you're actively asking as I'm making this video. These actually come from questions you've already asked in the comment sections of previous videos or blog posts. They might be questions that a ton of you asked and rather than going in and answer each and every one of you individually, it's just more time efficient to answer it here or a few that rather than a lot of you asking a few of you have asked some really great questions in like reviews and tutorials and they might be about something a detail that I forgot to mention an interesting little tidbit but good to know just round it all up and do it in one video. So I'm gonna try this out. If you like this kind of format and wanna see it again in the future, please be sure to give this video a like, let me know in the comments, do what you gotta do. In the meantime, let's get started. The first question I wanna start off with is a super easy one, super fast. A lot of you guys asked what I was wearing in my nails in the, like, the past few videos. I've been wearing Press On Nails. They are from the brand Impress. These are not actually them. I bought three different sets at Walgreens when I recently found a new collection. These are the Accent Nail Collection that they came out with. Um, the actual pair that I was wearing is called Swept Away. They were these gorgeous blush nails or like satin finished blush nails and then one was a glittery accent. I tend to wear these press on nails a lot. You don't have to wait for dry time. I absolutely love them. For those of you who might ask right now, these are not press on nails. These are my nails and they are actually the Julie G shade here. This is the shade uh, Butterflies and Rosebuds. So I will try and be better about including what I'm wearing on my nails and makeup and things like that in the info right below if I don't already mention it in the video because a lot of you guys have requested that. But in the meantime, I just got a ton of people asking me what was on my nails and that's what it was. Another great question was on the review that I did of the Lorac new unzipped gold palette. And this is something that I didn't really catch when I initially reviewed it. And that is how similar it is to Makeup Geek's Vegas Lights palette. So I wanted to take a quick sec to open them up, really show you a side by side so you can see, you know, if you're, if you're pulling from memory, that both are very warm tone gold themed palettes, obviously, but side by side, you can see there are some very distinct differences. Uh, the specific question was, can you recreate the look that I had in that review and that I later did a tutorial on using the Vegas Lights palette? No, I don't think you can. I tried to do as best as I could in the look I'm wearing today using only the Vegas Lights palette. And I have to say that these are overwhelmingly warmer. And as a result, I think they might flatter less skin tones than the unzipped gold. If you love gold shadows, but are a little too worried about getting them that lean way too warm for you, you like your cool or neutral, I would stick to the Lorac Unzipped Gold. But this palette definitely, rather than having this kind of peachy pink with a gold shimmer, you get a straight up orange with a gold shimmer and then this yellow gold and then a gorgeous maroon shade here. So both palettes have their merits, but to answer that particular question, no, I don't think you can recreate the look that I specifically created or um, I don't think there are any duplicate duplicates between these two palettes. But it was something I wanted to point out because they are very similar in theme. Next up is not so much a question, but actually a comment that someone left on the review video I did at the Physicians Formula Instant Extensions Mascara Duo. They said that there is this L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes Mascara out there that really does the two in one because in this review video, I mentioned that once you use the fibers and the mascara back and forth, back and forth like you're supposed to, the fibers get, it's inevitable that they will get into your mascara formula. And so if you want to ever use this alone, you have a formula that naturally extends if you don't want to go through the, the three-step process. Someone then brought up the fact that there is this false fiber mascara with those fibers already inside, much like you get when you buy the two together. And I totally forgot that I have tried this and actually really, really like this mascara. And what I ultimately concluded in this, this extensions video is that I love the effect it gave my lashes, but I personally found it to be more volumizing than lengthening, which lengthening is really the claim that they made with this. This, however, the L'Oreal mascara, I found was way more lengthening. The fibers are a lot thinner, a lot shorter. They're just more subtle overall. And the wands themselves are very different. The Physician's Formula is thicker, curved, has more dense fibers, whereas the L'Oreal, they are shorter, a little more sparse, and they really allow for a thorough coating of the lashes. So for those of you who are disappointed when I said that the Physician's Formula wouldn't give you so much that 
length that the packaging said they would, the L'Oreal is a great alternative. The last question is actually another palette comparison in a recent What's New at the Drugstore haul and following tutorial. I mentioned this brand new quad from CoverGirl. This is the quad in Blooming Blushes. Someone commented on the blog post that this looked very similar to the BH Cosmetics Forever Nude palette and the color palettes are definitely similar. Let me open the BH Cosmetics so you can actually see the two together. Now the BH Cosmetics obviously the packaging is totally different. You get a really nice big mirror here. You get face products, lip products. Overall, it's a, it's a very diff dramatically different palette than what you get with the CoverGirl, obviously. But when you look at the palettes together, they are very, very similar. So it was kind of an interesting comparison to draw. And so I thought I'd just talk about it here. Just to cut right to the chase, no, I don't think the two are similar. I think you can have both and still have unique shades from each. There is zero, absolutely zero overlap. Uh, but to point specifically out to what I'm talking about, this blush here, while it might look very similar to the lilac here, this is distinctly a pinky shade, whereas this is a purpley lilac. Likewise, this frosty or the, the lighter highlight shade over here is more purple hued than the two highlight shades that are included in this palette. And then the duochrome, which really stands out in the CoverGirl palette, there's just nothing similar to that in here. However, I think the formulas are very different. I personally actually like the CoverGirl Quads formula more. That's not to say that the BH Cosmetics formulation is bad at all, but the powders are a little less finely milled. There is definitely a little bit more of a texture to them than there is the new CoverGirl formula. But I actually did a tutorial using this palette and it they perform just as beautifully as the CoverGirl, which I also did a tutorial of. So I'll definitely link those two below if you want to see the different looks I created. But long story short, like I said before, yes, I definitely think you can own the two of these and not encounter a ton or any overlap. And I'm actually really glad that they drew that comparison because this is a perfect palette for Valentine's Day. The romantic, you know, blushes, the plums, the beautiful bronzy browns. Awesome palette and very, very affordable. Both are very affordable, but at least with this one, you get, you know, six eyeshadow palettes, one combo highlighter eyeshadow, two lip products, and then two cheek products as well. So awesome multitasker, and yet you can still own this CoverGirl quad without duplicating it any of those shadows. So that is it for this first beauty Q&A. Like I said before, let me know if you enjoy this kind of video. I personally enjoyed making it. And that's all from me for today. So thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.